Hello and welcome to gaming and welcome to another eFootball 2023 guide video. Similar to my previous video on eFootball about how to remove the circle around the players, this is another one of those things that kind of annoys me but could be useful for you guys. It depends on how you feel about it. And what I'm talking about is the target guide used for selecting your next available player. Now many of us that play eFootball over the years when it was PEZ, we used to just tap in the L1 button to change to our next man. And there's a handy little guide in eFootball where it has a, a different marker above the next available player's head. And if you click L1, that is the player that you will select. But you can also use the right analog stick to select a different player. And this can be really handy when you need to quickly select one of your players on the opposite side, say the team you're playing against decided to switch the ball it gives you really quick access to the player on that side. Rather than having to click L1 a bunch of times to get over there, you can just quickly aim your right analog stick in that direction and it'll select the player that you're pointing at. Now, when you start eFootball without changing any of the settings, it puts on this arrow. And as I say, this could be handy for many people playing. It could be a good way for you to visually see where you're pointing the arrow towards to know which player you are selecting. But for me, as I say, similar to the circle, I find it very distracting and an odd thing on screen. It's just not what I'm used to. And I decided that I wanted to turn it off. So I want to show you how to do that right now. Again, similarly to the circle, you have to go into your control and your configuration settings and then hit the detailed settings, which you press triangle for. Scrolling all the way down, you will see something that says target guide. This is what you want to switch off. Once you switch this off, you will no longer see the arrow when using the right analog stick while off the ball. But the key thing is that it still acts the same way that it would. So even though you've turned the guide off, you are still able to use the functionality of the right analog stick to select a player that is at the far side or someone at the back. This goes hand in hand with what I said about the kickoff as well, how to avoid the kickoff glitch. You can use the right analog stick for that. So if you are like me and you want this off, as I say, you can do it in the match by going to your controller settings and turning it off. Or you can do it at the main menu. You've got to go to the extras page, game settings, controller, click on your configuration for controller one, and then detailed settings with triangle. Once you're in there, scroll all the way down, see target guide, this wants to be off. So if it's on, just tap it off. So just a quick one, a quick guide for you guys that might find the arrow annoying to be on screen and want to play without it. That is your way to take it off. But as I say, the functionality of the right analog stick while off the ball still works to select a different player rather than just tapping L1 all the time to move across the pitch. You can do a quick swift motion with the right analog stick. I hope that's helped. If it has helped, please do leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for more eFootball videos and I'll see you in the next one.